show you the setup of the fixture for the wheel hub uh, marking machine today. The fixture has the seating area for where the hub goes in and then the adjustable clamp here in the back with a brake. What you want to do is take the sliding motion and move the fixture back to the approximate distance that your wheel hub is going to have to set into. Once you set that up on there, you can pull this up tight, and then what you want to do is lock your brake. If you have any trouble moving the brake over, you can wiggle this knob. Then you can make your fine adjustments while holding your brake, and you can set your gap here for the clearance that you want for getting the part in and out easily. Once the part is in place and the brake is set, you will be able to mark the uh, part. Part, once the part is marked, you can remove, get another assembly, place it, and repeat the procedure. And I'll just move this to a new marking position. Now what I'd like to show you is how to change over from a larger wheel assembly to a smaller wheel assembly. Accomplish that by putting in a flanged uh, stop in place of these main stops because we have a thicker flange here on the big wheel and a thinner flange here. We want it to raise the part up. So enforce the box two here in the front and two in the back. Tighten those down. This is a number 1032 screw, or no, maybe it's a quarter 20. And again, what we want to do is just take off our brake, slide the fixture forward to the proximate distance to fit the smaller part, and then you'd be placing your part in. I try to place the part with the stud towards the center in the back. And at this point in time, once you have your brake set, you're ready to mark your smaller parts. That's basic behind changeover setup and changeover between a large hub and a small hub.